Don't quest kid. Oh, did I hit it too hard? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hello, Quest Kids, how are you? I am so glad we're all here at Virtual Quest Kids together. This month, we're finding out what it means to dig deep and search for wisdom. Wisdom is finding out what you should do and doing it. When you're looking for wisdom, adventure awaits. But you don't just need wisdom when you're exploring a secret cage or searching for priceless artifacts. You need wisdom on regular days too. You need God's wisdom to know how to live his way, which is always the very best way. Now, let's sing and worship together. Whenever I need some answers, God, I turn to you. You're chasing after me it makes me want to run to where you are God, you make this journey worth it I give you all my heart When I don't know what to do You help me figure it out God, I run to you When I need a solution I have no doubt where you'll be you make me want to do what's right and be the the best version of me to know that you're chasing after me it makes me want to run to where you are god you make this journey worth it i give you all my heart when i don't know If I asked you to tell me what you know about Jesus, you might tell me about how he came to earth as a baby and was born in Bethlehem. You might talk about how he grew up to teach crowds of people, perform amazing miracles, and eventually die on the cross for our sins. We don't know as much about the time between Jesus' birth and his adult years, but we do have one story from Jesus' childhood that shows us what was important to him. 
Luke shared this story in the book he wrote that's a part of the Bible. The name of the book is, you guessed it, Luke. Jesus traveled with his parents every year to the city of Jerusalem for the Passover feast. When Jesus was 12 years old, they went to the feast as usual. The trip was from their home in Nazareth to Jerusalem. It would have taken them several days. Now families and friends traveled together during this time. Jesus likely spent the days of travel with his cousins and friends, maybe finding his parents at dinner time. We don't know what Jesus thought or felt when he finally saw the city of Jerusalem on the rocky hillside ahead. Years later, he would preach entering the city to thousands of people. But for now, he was here to celebrate the important Passover feast with his family. And that's what he did. All week, Jesus' family celebrated the Passover feast with their relatives in Jerusalem. The people remembered how God had rescued their ancestors from Egypt long, long time ago. When the feast was over, his parents, Mary and Joseph, began the long trip home with their family and friends. The roads were surely crowded with everyone else returning home as well. But Mary and Joseph and the rest of their friends traveled for a full day before Jesus' parents realized something was wrong. Jesus was not with them. Now, let's check out this Bible story video. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Luke, chapter two, verses 41 through 52. When God sent his very own son, Jesus, to earth, angels shouted the good news. Fear not, I bring you good news of great joy. Shepherds and wise men journeyed to visit Jesus. And later, Mary and Joseph hurried to Egypt with their young son, to keep him safe from King Herod. But Jesus wasn't always a baby or a young child. We don't know much about his early years, but he had to learn to walk and talk just like every other child. Mama. He probably learned from Joseph how to hammer nails and smooth pieces of wood for tables and wheels. We do know one very important story from the time Jesus was a boy. One of Jesus' followers, Luke, wrote it down many years later. He begins, Every year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the Passover feast. And when Jesus was 12 years old, they went up to the feast as usual. Lentils, water skins, extra sandal straps. Jesus, run and tell your father we're packed and ready to leave. Yes, mother. The trip from their home in Nazareth to Jerusalem took several days. Friends and family traveled together. Jesus likely spent the day with his cousins and friends, finding his parents at dinner time. I brought sticks for the fire. I'll start this too. We should reach Jerusalem by noon tomorrow. We don't know what Jesus thought or felt when he saw the city of Jerusalem perched on the rocky hillside ahead. Years later, he would enter the city to the shouts of cheering crowds. But for now, Jesus was just a boy celebrating Passover with his family. You remember where your cousins live, right? We're staying with them again. I can find it. All week, families celebrated with relatives. Together, they enjoyed the Passover feast. You, O Lord our God, have given us festival days for joy in remembrance of the departure from Egypt. Blessed are you, O Lord our God. When the feast was over, Mary and Joseph packed and began their trip home along the crowded roads. At the end of the day, they stopped to set up camp. Jesus, can you start the cooking fire? Jesus? I thought I saw him with... No, that was before we left the city. Mary and Joseph searched through the nearby family, settling down for the evening. Have you seen Jesus? Not since he gave me the last potato pancake yesterday evening. No one's seen him. Since Jerusalem. We, we left him in the city. Frantic, Mary and Joseph hurried back to Jerusalem to search for their missing son. They immediately checked the home where they had been staying. Very sorry, but I haven't seen him. 
Mary and Joseph crisscrossed the entire city. He loved the honey cakes from that bakery. Excuse me, have you seen a 12-year-old boy about this tall? Dark brown robe, hair kind of sticks out over his ears. Yes, yes, like that. Sorry, haven't seen you. They may have checked the swimming hole or the stables, but Jesus was nowhere to be found. So Mary and Joseph paced the streets at wit's end. He's just never gone off like this. I don't think he's here. We've searched the whole city. Everywhere except... As Mary and Joseph turned the corner, high white walls rose ahead of them. The, the temple. temple! We'll check the courtyard. Just in case. The courtyard was filled with visitors still in the city for Passover. As they circled the open space, Mary froze. Joseph, there! Just ahead, they saw their son. Jesus was sitting with a group of teachers, listening and asking questions. Teacher, isn't it always right to be kind, even if it means giving money to a beggar on the Sabbath? The teachers nodded in agreement and amazement, but Mary and Joseph rushed forward. Jesus! Son, why have you treated us like this? Grabbing her boy, Mary hugged Jesus so hard, she nearly squeezed the air out of him. Your father and I have been worried about you. We've been looking for you everywhere. Why were you looking for me? Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? All I know is no more stunts like this, okay? Jesus returned to Nazareth with his parents, obeying everything they asked of him. As he grew, he grew wiser and stronger. He also became more and more pleasing to God and to others. Jesus is the perfect example for us of what it looks like to search for wisdom. He went to the temple where he knew he could find wisdom. He talked to the teachers who taught the laws of God. And as Jesus grew up, he continued to grow in wisdom. That's something we can do too. We can search for God's wisdom just like Jesus did. Here's why. Our bottom line statement for this week, wisdom is worth searching for. Let's ask God to help us dig deep and search for wisdom. Dear God, thank you for being the source of all wisdom. Thank you for the example we have from Jesus of how important it is to search for wisdom. If your very own son thought it was important to find wisdom, surely it's something we should look for too. This week, help each of us to be wise, to find out what we should do and do it. We love you and we ask these things in Jesus' name, amen. Have a wonderful week, everyone.